Hello, I'm Sam Kellagioni, and today I'm here in our Milton Brewery talking about our beer, Rising Binds, a collaboration. We did our second collaboration that we did with our pals in Chico, California at Sierra Nevada Brewery. Um, my two epiphany beers, when I figured out there was more than light lager out there, in one week I got to try Celebration by these guys and Chimay Red. Uh, fell in love with him and uh, in time got to know Ken Grossman, the founder. Uh, both of us have served for quite a while on the Brewers Association Board of Directors. And uh, we struck up a fr friendship uh, based on both of us uh, loving to do hot forward beers uh, and our hopes to keep our companies as family companies. And it's been cool to see Ken and Sierra making that transition with both Sierra and Brian uh, Grossman working at the company and I've gotten to be real friendly with Brian. Brian's going to be moving to North Carolina to run their uh, facility on this coast. So we thought this was a good opportunity uh, to do a hop forward beer together. Uh, it's the first beer that kind of um, combines Dogfish Head's unique hopping uh, technique and Sierra Nevada's unique hopping technique. From us, what this gets with a ton of uh, Bravo pellet hops is on the hot side, it goes through Sofa King Hoppy, which is our uh, continual hopping device uh, that makes for a, the, a hopping regiment that's extremely potent and pungent, but not crushingly bitter. Uh, and then on the cold side, post-fermentation, we wheeled in one of Sierra's famous torpedoes. Uh, and uh, Sierra is the number one user of whole leaf dry hops in America and they do so much direct buying that they actually have a, an experimental hop program and they found this hop called 644, it doesn't even have a name, just a number, it's so experimental and it's the most unique hop you can think of for a Northwest hop. It doesn't have that in your face grapefruit citrusy thing coming off of it. Uh, this was dry hopped with the torpedo at uh, 40 pounds per 100 barrel length of this 644. And the 644 throws this uh, very like earthy, subtle, complex, melon rind uh, notes into the nose of the beer. So we're, I'm drinking this out of our IPA glass, which we also collaborated with Spiegelau and Sierra on. And the shape of this really helps to deliver the aromatics in the nose of the beer. And uh, yeah, it's like nothing else we've done or Sierra's done. So nose-wise, this beer is very much all about the 644, which is the melony, earthy, aromatic hop. But taste-wise, it does have sort of a West Coast bitterness at the end. In the middle of it, you get this red fife wheat character that comes from our pals uh, growing heirloom wheat down in the Carolinas at Anson Mills. Uh, so it's a very complex beer. Earthy nose up front. Uh, malty, weedy note in the middle, and nice lingering dry bitterness uh, at the end. Uh, it's a, a beautiful beer to take on a palate journey with you sometime soon.